Jacopo Lugozzi's masterpiece, The Contest of Pan and Apollo, ostensibly about a musical contest between two gods, hides a deeper family drama of anxiety, alchemy, and magic beneath its glitzy surface. The triumph of the calm and radiant Apollo over the greedy Midas and the bestial Pan is a mirror of the cultural ambitions of the young Duke, Francesco de' Medici. Francesco is the young Apollo, whose ringing voice promises to restore a lost golden age to Florence. This splendid drawing was likely commissioned by Francesco himself as a two-scale model for a golden tazza of the kind Midas could only dream about. At its core, Lugozzi's work is about the complexities of judgment. Rather than coveting the material gold of the finished object, like Midas, the viewer is meant to prefer the conceptual beauties of Lugozzi's design. No great artist, however, could be unaware that it is desire and the love of beauty itself, which first puts us on the path towards the transcendent. Lugozzi's works from this period show him skirting the line between science and art magic and metaphor. He seems virtually obsessed with the contradictions inherent in the connections between virtue and beauty. His exploration of these themes in such works as the gluttony and avarice demonstrate how at home Lugozzi was in the uncomfortable territory between our revulsion for the images being depicted and the beauty of their depiction. Little wonder then that in the contest of Pan and Apollo, Lugozzi put so much emphasis on the transformative alchemical power of art to overcome these contradictions. Francesco fully empathized with Midas's love of alchemy and the seduction of Bacchus's teachings. His golden tazza was intended, however, to refine these desires into the pure light of Apollo. By contrast with his illustrious ancestors, Lorenzo in Magnifico, who identified with the god Pan, and his father, who took Saturn as his avatar. Francesco preferred the solar imagery of Apollo. This association implied the final chemical stage in a return to glory, the full completion of the Renaissance of Florence. more insecure and intellectual than his warlike father, Cosimo Primo. Francesco preferred the seclusion of his studiolo and alchemical laboratories. The final conversion of Florence from a republic into a duchy was not to be won by him on the battlefield, but could perhaps be accomplished on the field of cultural achievements and occult practices. Like the ancient gems and cameos so coveted by the Medici, this shield captures the power of Apollo for its bearer. Apollo is notably not only the god of art, but also the god of prophecy. The Medici are called to restore the glory of Rome. In this work, Lugozzi has effectively created a solar talisman in the tradition of Marsilio Ficino. Lorenzo's own carnelian intaglio ring, the so-called seal of Nero, depicted the triumph of Apollo over Marcius, a metaphor for the power of light to overcome darkness and the release of the soul from this world. If a ring had that much power, how much more power could be wielded through the visionary influence of art?